Plastics raw materials are in the form of powders, granules, or sheet. Powdered raw materials, the heat is required to enable them to fuse to the solid state. PVC mixed with pigments and additives can be worked on hot steel rollers. After a time, its consistency becomes rather like dough and it's ready for shaping into its final form. When it cools, it will go hard again. To make it into sheet, we use a machine called a calendar to make sheets pliable. Let's start with bending a sheet. Heat it along the line where you want it to bend until it's quite soft and flexible. Hold a plasticizer, giving a treacle-like mixture PVC paste. and even more slowly drawn out, so that a smooth coating is obtained. When the excess paste has run off, the glove is put into an oven where the heat turns the sticky paste into a flexible solid. Stretch it by blowing it into a dome with compressed air. Often sheet is drawn by vacuum into a mould the shape of a bath. The lines were put on to show up the curvature. Quite a large shaping, and there are plenty of large sheet. Kitchens use the required curvature, and press tools are used. This tray, a skeleton tool, is in only a few yin tube falls over a spigot and extrudes. They're tough and keep their transparency even after years of use. To remove them from the mold. Bottle caps, toilet skull caps are produced in enormous numbers from thermosetting moulding powders. It's completely filled. The excess spills out, but is easily cleaned off. These pamphlet boxes, for instance, were made by compressing the moulding powder sheets, door handles, household goods of all kinds, and perhaps best known of all, the per The skills of working with plastics are in a constant state of change and development, keeping in step with the new materials becoming available. More than any other factor, it's this adaptability of the processes that has enabled plastics to achieve their conspicuous success within so short a time.